I don't know how many people that I've talked to that basically said what they learned in school, mainly for like software engineering, also for data science, like they barely used on their job at yeah. all. They learned a completely new set of skills. So if you're gonna have to learn a new set of skills anyway, why wouldn't you be hiring someone that you think is really excited about learning, is gonna yeah. pick things up quickly, is is gonna really put a, a good amount of effort in into. And you can you can pick that up and you can learn that from looking at their project portfolio. You can learn that from talking with them. Yep. But are you really gonna learn that from a coding interview question? Pro yeah. Not necessarily, no. Uh, you, know, you know, maybe listening to that, how they talk through uh, maybe like a SQL problem or how they talk through one of these coding interview problems. Um, but I, I still think early, in the early stages, you're gonna be getting a lot more, or when I was interviewing, I was looking a lot more at how they would be um, answering these questions and, and if they had that potential. Uh, because you can invest in potential early, you cannot invest in potential, or it's very difficult to invest in potential uh, for senior or, or later candidates. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it also really depends on roles you're going for. If you're going for data scientist roles, this is something I, I actually had to learn by trying to help people land data science roles. Landing your first data science role can be really difficult. It can be really hard. Um, landing your first data analyst role, actually a lot easier. Um, so like you might need more skills to land a data science job, but if you're just trying to land a data analyst job, it actually you know might be more about just who you know. And I, I also hate that phrase, you know, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I like to rephrase it too, it's who you can know because with the power of the internet nowadays, you could have a chance to reach out to nearly anyone on the planet, um, you know, and at least expand your network that way. Um, but yeah, it really depends on what type of jobs you're going for. So right now, my big niche is like helping people who, who you know, necessarily aren't making the most money. Like I help a lot of teachers who are just done being teachers. They're done, you know, being in the classroom from 7.30 to 5 p.m., done making $40,000 a year just want something that pays more, that's less stressful. And, you know, we can go from 40,000 to landing a first data job at 80,000 in three months pretty easily with not that much skills. Like you still have to know skills. Like if you're breaking the data, Excel, SQL, Tableau, for me, those are like, you have to know those three. But, but you maybe shouldn't learn Python. You maybe shouldn't learn R. Like there is, it's a big learning curve to learn those. And comparatively, it, comparatively. And, uh, and you might be better off waiting to learn those down the road if, if it makes sense to just land your first data job quickly, get your foot in the door, and then you can always go back and learn it later. So that's kind of what I've been focused on. It's like, what is the bare minimum to get someone their first data job? Um, and it's, it's been fun to figure it out. 